because I'm moving. Like what we were doing in sequencing last week, okay? So I just want this to be really effortless, that the dog is just going back and forth, okay? And you're establishing this working space. So do some repetitions on that. And again, I feed and twig and put it on the ground. I want the dog to stay in working space.
And this is all done on a slight movement of my leg, no arms, no more. It should all be offered on the dog, recognizing the position of the handler and the position of the jump. And it's all done in what we call working stick. And you're learning to make it quite the dog So when we want the dog to run ahead of us, take the jump and turn, you're going to use a word like back, flip, spin, switch, turn, check, any of those. The thing about verbal commands is you can introduce them and teach them, and then you can get rid of them if you choose you don't want them. So I'm going to say and recommend to use a verbal command now to teach this behavior, and at any point if you don't want to use it, you can get rid of it. But the verbal commands are secondary and the physical commands are primary. But it's important for the dog to realize that this verbal command gets done in relation to the jump. But at this stage, we teach it without, again, the physicality of jumping. Because our dogs need to learn to run, they need to learn to jump, and they need to learn to then put those things together. They don't put them together right now. This is a command that's going to teach them to turn and jump. But it's, again, in relation to the jump stanchion. So does everyone have a word or do you need to repeat them? If you use multiple dogs or you run multiple dogs, keep your word the same. If you want to change your word, you just start using it on the, on the old dog that you did. So my word is back, and that means for the dog to turn away from me. You're going to do the same thing with having food in both of your hands. If my dog is on the left side, he's going to turn away to the left. If my dog is on the right side, he's going to turn away to the right on the same verbal command, but you start on one side first. So I'm going to put him on the left side, I'm going to put the cookie in his face, I'm going to turn him around and stand him, back, I'm going to step behind, click and feet. My click was a little late, it should have been earlier. Put him on the left hand, back, step behind his feet. Correct. As soon as his little nose starts to go around and stand him, I want him to cheat. Same thing with the weevil. And then show the feet. But again, it's not the verbal command. And then I try to get multiple repetitions. So, back. If he doesn't get it, I'm hard to back. Yeah. And then I start to get rid of my hands. So, really, I'm teaching back and I'm stepping. So, he's going to learn to look at my hip and my shoulder. Back. Yes. And so, I'll Step behind, feed with the left hand, okay? This is the dog is turning away. That the dog was coming in. The figure eight was just getting the dog to come back in the handler, but to move off body. This is clearly a directional turn, which is telling the dog to run and turn away from me. But it's only in the small, fragmented, beginning part of the behavior. You don't have to get this at all right now. All you have to do is pick a word and turn your dog around the jump stage. Okay. 